Hey, Miss Laurie. Hey, Pastor Meredith. What What are you and Law doing there? Well, we're making we're making some lists. I, you know, sometimes I have a hard time remembering things, especially when I go to the grocery store. If I don't write things down, I I don't remember. And so he's trying to help me remember some things that I had said earlier, and now I don't remember them. But it's not helping. Oh, grocery shopping day. It's good to make a list. It does help you remember when you get going. Because there is nothing worse than getting home and forgetting one thing. Yeah, I always do that. If I don't use a list, I'm the same way. I was just sitting here. You know, it's funny you trying to remember things to go on your list. I was uh, getting ready for a class I have to lead. And I was trying to remember. I had my, bi my Bible up. And I was like, I need to find the book of Nehemiah, but I didn't want to look in the table of contents. So I was singing a song to remember a song. I know about the books of the Bible. It goes Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, first and second Samuel, first Kings, second Kings, first and second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah. And then I was able to find it. I can sing a song. I can find a thing. I tell you, helps me remember. That's very good. Thanks. Well, welcome everybody to Celebrate Wonder. We're really glad you're here to join with us. Of course, I'm Pastor Meredith. I'm our lead pastor at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. And we have Ms. Laurie, who's our director of children and youth ministries, and Law the Lamb, who helps us remember all kinds of things. And you'll see Oreo is skulking around there in the background as well. And we're so glad that you're here for this brand new session of Celebrate Wonder for the spring. We hope that you have picked up your new Celebrate Wonder packet for this session. If you have not done that, we have those available for you in the church office. And we want to encourage you to do that this week. Give the church office a call because you want your packet so you can join in all the fun activities and the stories and have all the information. So make sure that you get your packet. We love to help you get that as well. So call the church office um, and set up a time to be able to come in and pick up one of those. But I suppose we should take our remembering and get going at our wonder tables. What do you think, Laurie and Laud? I think so. I think I've remembered everything I needed to right now. I think. I hope so. <laughs> I guess we'll find out, won't we? I guess you will. Well, let's go to our wonder table, shall we? See you there. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our wonder tables. We've wandered on over to wonder. And we usually start our wonder table by lighting the candle. Mm -hmm. Yes, we light the candle, not the lamp. Some weeks I'm better at this than others. There we go. Whew. So what are we wondering about today? I think well, we have a word that says, Remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you think of the word remember, what do you think of? Well, a lot of times I remember that I forget a lot of things. Laud agrees. He's he just nodding. Quick. He was a little quick to agree with that, I thought, but okay. <laughs> oh, and we also have today, how could I forget? Because today is St. Patrick's Day, everybody. She remembered. I remembered that. And so joining us is our favorite moose or reindeer. He's going these days by Mick Mortimer. Mm -hmm. He's decked out in his St. Patrick's Day finest. Nice. Well, that makes me think of another question. What helps you remember things? It sounds like your calendar helped you remember things because it helped you remember that it's St. Patrick's Day. It did. I've even got clovers here. No four leaf though. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. You, you were I, using a list earlier to help you remember. Yeah, I list everything. But then sometimes, sadly, I lose my list or I forget my list. But I was just telling Pastor Meredith, I've started using an app on my phone that's helping me with that. So that helps me to remember. Telling stories helps me remember things. 
that's one of the ways I remember our family stories. I remember stories from the Bible and about God and how much God loves me. And I remember things about my family because of the stories that we tell um, about things we've done and places we've gone and how much we love each other and funny stories. All those things help us remember, I think. Are there things that you do over and over that help you remember God, you and Laud? Well, I also like to wear these bracelets that I have. One has, a, they have crosses on them. And every time I glance down, I, yeah, I remember, I remember God and how much he loves me. And some days I really need that. Amen to that. Mm -hmm. Where our Bible story today is from uh, the gospel of John in chapter 13, verses one through 17. And we want everybody there at your homes, go ahead, get your Bible out, look it up on your Bible app. And we hope that you'll read that together and that you'll use the questions that are in our um, activity kit to have some wondering time together. You may want to use your wonder cube and roll that to have some wonder questions. But we want you to read that story. It's about a time when Jesus washes his disciples' feet. That's why I have my water and my soap here. And this story is a way that um, it helps Jesus' disciples remember how much he loves them and serves them and how much Jesus wants us to love and serve him and to serve others as well. It's a wonderful way to remember. And um, he gives us the idea that as often as we do those things, we're going to remember him, that we wash feet and wash hands and have meals together and those kinds of things. So why don't we watch our Bible story? It's going to help us remember and know some of those things too. And maybe we can have our prayer uh, together. You guys want to pray after me? Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you for giving us ways. Thank you for giving us ways. To remember you. To remember you. Amen. Amen. All right, let's watch our Bible story video. Greetings, friends. I'm Abigail. In our Bible story today, Jesus washes all of his disciples' feet. Their feet were dirty from walking outside because everyone wore sandals. Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, thought this was too strange. He didn't want Jesus to do it at first. Even though washing feet wasn't Jesus' job, Jesus wanted to do this to show care and love. By reading this story, we remember how Jesus loved his disciples. To remember is to think about and not forget our faith. It is important for us to remember so that we follow the awesome example that Jesus lived. We get to be a part of the story by adding new ideas for how to serve and show love. When we think about what Jesus did in this story, we see what faith looks like. Faith looks like helping, serving, and loving. Sometimes doing these things surprises others, but that's not a reason to stop doing them. Last year during lunch, I noticed there was a kid who was always eating alone. I always ate with my friends and I wanted him to have friends too. One day, I decided to go and eat with a kid who was alone and my friends didn't understand. My best friend said, why are you doing that? After a few lunches, my friends wanted all of us to sit together. They realized we could all show love. My new friend now had a whole group of friends. I was able to show Jesus' love at school by making sure everyone had a friend. When we remember that Jesus washed feet, we remember to live with love and to live with faith. No matter who you are, you can follow Jesus' example. We can all love and serve in some way. We won't all wash feet, but we can all do something that shows someone that we care about them. Now, it's time for you to wonder. It's time for our art and craft, and you'll find in your kit, you're going to have a piece of black construction paper. You can pull that out. I think I put a couple of pieces in there, and then some of these little sticky tabs. You may use those later. With this, you may not. That's kind of up to the adult who is in your house. What we're going to remember today is walking with Jesus. And we're going to trace some feet that will help us remember to walk with Jesus and that the walk that he took with his disciples. So you're going to trace 
your feet on this. Now, I'm not taking my shoes off and tracing my feet. Mm, 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 mm. They are not ready for that yet. They've been in socks and shoes for like a year. All right, so we're gonna do quads. Then you're just gonna trace around them like so. Oh yeah. And then you can cut it out. And you can do your feet, you could do your mom's feet, your dad, a grandparent, a grown up you like, your brother, your sister. You could try your pet. I don't know how well that'll go, but we could try. And we now have Lod's little hoof right here. Yeah, that's you. Yeah, okay. So that's Lod's footprint. Now, you could put these on the floor. You could put them on your wall, maybe on the table. If you want to stick them to something, you can use these little sticky tabs. But again, you need to ask permission first. So do some footprints and remember to walk with Jesus. Thanks guys. Hi everybody. We have in our kit a brand new celebration chart with all kinds of things here. They're a little bit more spring related like parade in nature. Maybe you'll go for a walk, say a prayer. Yeah. Not welcome someone, praise God, shared something, all different kinds of things here. So make your check marks this week, and this will be our new chart for the session of Celebrate Wonder. I've got to get my new chart out and put it on my refrigerator so we, rem so we remember to do some every day and uh, do some of those wonderful ways we can be helpful and celebrate. Love my Celebrate chart. Well, we have a spiritual practice as we come to the end of our time. That's for everybody, for adults and kids. And it involves some stuff that we are all very familiar with, like soap and water and hand sanitizer, because we've been doing a lot of that over the last year and we know it keeps us healthy. But um, we're going to remember, uh, remember this use hand washing as a spiritual practice this week. And a spiritual practice is anything that we do that we do over and over again that helps us remember God and God's love for us and God's call to us. So other spiritual practices are like prayer, doing our celebrate wonder activities, reading our Bibles, serving in ways that we serve all the time. Those are pretty good, right, Miss Laurie? I think so. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. So today, what we want everybody to remember is how much God loves you. And every time you go to wash your hands, to close your eyes while you wash your hands and remember how much God loves you and that God wants us to serve one another. And it looks to me like Laud is ready to wash his hooves right now. Yep. He was a little confused at first. He thought I'd gotten him a drink of water, but I said, no, don't drink that. There's soap in there. So he's ready. He's going to wash ready. His, He's going to wash his paws here. So we're going to put him in there. Yeah. We have to dry him off. Yeah, just like Jesus did with his disciples. Okay. Well, well we and while we do that, we remember that God loves us and wants us to serve others. I use my hand sanitizer. Mm. No, I'm not using hand sanitizer on you. You're getting soap and water and a paper towel. You're clean. Very nice. Yeah. So all every time you wash your hands this week, adults, kids, all those times, close your eyes and remember how much God loves you and wants us to serve others. We can do that, right? Absolutely. Wonderful. Well, again, we, uh, we love you and we're so glad to get to have this time together. Remember to get your Celebrate Wonder Activity Kit. Don't forget those. You're going to want all of those fun activities for the next several weeks in these sessions. So please contact us in the church office to get one of those. And remember to stick around for a few moments here for our song video. And we have a new song that is called, I want to make sure I say it right, Remember Your Love. So stick around with us to sing for a few minutes, okay? Lod's favorite part. He loves to sing. Love the singing. Okay, should we say our closing prayer together? Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Repeat after me. 
Dear God, dear God, show us how to serve others. Show us how to serve others every day. Every day. Amen. Amen. That is a good thing to remember. That is a good thing to remember. Yeah. Bye, guys. And happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. We'll see you next time. Bye. Remember your love